really, it's, uh, they're trying to make it more of a science. Just call the game the way the rule book isn't, you know, wants you to call it. So center, primary, right? Yep. There's a lot of scrutiny, obviously, by the coaches, fans, and the media. And so, you know, we have to uh, step up with it, right, and get, in, and get in sync with technology. Their charge is to quietly keep control. Good strength! A profession where a lack of feedback is most times the marker for success. My number one deal is to have fun, right? Because if you're not having any fun, it's not worth it. Jerry Kramer play, offensive guard. Really, there's a lot of stress involved if you let it eat you up. You know, if you start thinking about it too much, right? It's the old deal like in golf, if you think, you stink. You can do the same thing in refereeing, right? Overthink these things. I've, I've tried to do that for 20 years. Just have fun during the game, kind of like when, when I was playing, right? Just have fun with it. All right, we're going to take another time out. When we come back, we'll take a look at the rest of the WCC. We'll also have a lot of the outtakes and the, well, the flub-ups here on the Mark View Show. There's been plenty, but first, our Subway Sub of the Week. And it goes to none other than Mr. Kelly Olenek, the big seven-footer, 23 points, 15 rebounds, five assists in the three games this week. Nice effort, Kelly. Go Zags. Make sure to visit your local Subway restaurant today for one of the new Subway melts, like the Chipotle chicken and cheese stacked with tender, juicy chicken and fresh toasted on flatbread. Only at Subway restaurants, proud sponsors of the Gonzaga Bulldogs. And welcome again back to the Mark Few Show. Well, 2011 is here, and that means so is the rest of the West Coast Conference schedule. And it kicks off here pretty quick. It's going to be a tough road again in this league. Here's Sam Adams with a look. The Zags are once again the heavy favorites to cut down the Nets in the WCC, but there are several other teams that should be nipping at their heels in 2011. Portland is battle-tested. It's four losses coming against Kentucky, Washington, Washington State, and Utah. Jared Stoll and Luke Sigma will co-pilot the UP attack, the latter averaging 10.5 rebounds per game going into that WCC opener against Gonzaga on January 8th. St. Mary's big man may be gone, but the Gales should be a giant killer without Omar Samhan. Randy Bennett's crew ranking among the top 10 nationally in scoring and has been lights out from the field, making 50% of its shots, ranking sixth in the country. The Southern California schools return a number of key players. Loyola Marymount welcoming back Drew Viney and Vernon Teal. They've combined to score just under 30 points per game this year. And don't be fooled by Pepperdine's 12 straight losses to close out last season. Keon Bell, remember him, he torched Gonzaga for 37 points his last time out in Spokane. And he's averaging a conference best 21 and a half points per game this year. So Gonzaga, clearly the team to beat in the WCC, but to win yet another WCC crown, those are the teams the Zags will have to be to climb that ladder once again, step into the big dance. All right, thanks a lot, Sam. It will be a tough road in the West Coast Conference. Let's take our final time out. When we come back, we'll take a look at some of the funniest moments and the outtakes in 2010 on the Mark Few Show. Come on back. Doubleheader. The action tips off Thursday at 5 p.m. on FSN and FSN HD. All right, welcome back to the Mark Few Show. Time now for our funniest moments and some of the outtakes from the first half of the Mark Few Show for the year 2010 and 2011. Enjoy it. Happy New Year, and we'll see you all soon at the basketball games. All right, let's get through this. Coach, season two of the Mark Few Show. You're, you're a KG veteran now. Yeah, but I, I think that it's in dog years, though. Oh, man. It's going to be a good one today. we got to get to church, too, so we don't need a whole bunch of stuff here. If it's good on the first take, you just do it. Yeah. I knew I should have got my workout in before. All right, here we go. Here's a fan question of the week. Okay, we got our fan question. 
And it's Bill from Walla Walla. The oh. town's so nice, they named it twice, That's right? True. And it's from Kevin from Aberdeen. Do you know where Aberdeen is? It's I bet you don't. Somewhere on the west side. Dennis from Santa Ynez, California. You it's sure just, that's how you say that? I'm not positive. Yeah, that's a great question. First of all, I don't, can't believe you don't know where Aberdeen is. There's got to be some good fish there. There is. So drop a dime right on it. Let's see what you got. Shoot some B-roll at practice. Use your lingo. That's my idea. What do you think of that one? Let's aim to be efficient this year. Everything in one take. Take 11 and 3, 2, 1. Oh, that was bad. Let me say it for you. Mooninghoff. No, wrong. It's wrong. Mooninghoff. Say it again. Mooninghoff. Mooninghoff. Mur. Mur. Mooninghoff. Yeah, you guys kind of struggle over here, but it's okay, you know, it's okay. <laughs> God only made one blueprint of me, you know why? Couldn't handle the competition. Last time, don't tell anybody, but uh, I, Steve and I took uh, Austin's bed one time and went uh, snow sledding on it. But we won't do that because Austin's not here anymore. I, I was looking to get Nate done up. Done up, you know, looking like 110%. I know I'm 110, but maybe 111 would work. Now, you're going to laugh at this, and we're working on chemistry no. here on the Mark Man. V Show. I, I am going to laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't have fun last show at all. <laughs> wow, that was a lot. Let's we could change the name to the Greg Heister no. Show. We'll probably get better ratings. Nobody would watch. Uh, did you write it? So yeah, it's not your best stuff. Real world stuff. Overall, were you happy? And I know as a coach, you can always yeah, go to the locker room happy. unhappy. What is happy? Good point. How's that sound? Did we, can you clear that out where he was talking or he was on his phone or something? Or anyway, you watch, that'll show up. My ears picked up on it. Really help, uh, you know, we got issues with the door. Okay, can you shut the door, Joe? Perennially, geez, that's a tough word to say. Struggling. I didn't like the way I read that very beginning, yeah. so thanks for running. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> we done? Happy, I mean, I, I'm not I'm pretty sure. Happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. generally happy, so, uh, you know, I guess that we can 